Hello and welcome back to the channel. Sorry for not posting on Wednesday because I was really busy. Today we are going to do, we are going to solve some of the problem solving questions based on array and strings. Because we have implemented linked list, array list so far and we have a basic knowledge of how these data structures work. So now is the time to implement or to solve some real problems uh, that could be asked in the interview. So we are going to start with very basic problems. We are not going to take the advanced course right away. We are just going to take the basic questions that can build our understanding of these data structures. Then we will slowly move ahead. So are you with me? If yes, let's head back to the IDE and solve this question. Hey, so this is the problem that we are going to solve today. Uh, I've taken this question from Cracking the Coding interview. This is a very good question actually, it, and it, it actually makes you think uh, in a logical way. So let's uh, go through this question once and see what it is. This is the question that interviewers may ask you at the beginning. So let's see what it is. So in this, you have to implement an algorithm to determine if a string has all unique characters. So this is the first part of the question and this is a question that will be given to you at first and you will have to come up with uh, some kind of logic or some kind of algorithm very quickly to solve this question because this is not a very difficult question if we say. But the next part of this question could be tricky. So in the next part it says, what if you cannot use additional data structures? So we'll keep the next part aside and we'll just focus on the first part which is to come up with a solution as fast as possible. So the first solution to this problem that I could think of is the brute force solution, in which I will pick up every character and scan the entire string to find that. And if I find that character, it means that it, the character is repeating, all the correct characters are not unique in that string, and I will return false. But if I don't find that character, I'm going to return true. So it's a very simple brute force approach, but the time complexity in this is going to be O of n square because for each character I'm going to iterate over all, the entire string and I have n characters. For each character I'm going to run the loop n times, n times n, n square. Not a good complexity. We should always stay away from n square solutions. The second thing that I can think of, like at the top of my head is to use some kind of an auxiliary storage, like a hash set that will keep track of all the unique characters for us. So before uh, inserting any character, we are going to check that in the hash set and we're gonna know that, okay, we have seen this character before, so it's, the string is not unique, and we're going to return false. And the lookup time in hash set for any character will be O of one, because of the hash function, it will directly go to that particular bucket and fetch the value for us. And to iterate over the entire string, it will be O of n, so the average case will be O of n, but here we will be using extra space. So let's not worry about the extra space now, let's go ahead and implement this solution. So for that, I'm going to create a new package. I'm going to name it problem solving. And going forward, I'm going to store all the problems related to these questions inside this package. As this is based on arrays and strings, so my class name is going to be the same. I'll create a test class. create a new object inside setup. First test case, it should determine if This is going to return true because this particular string contains all, contains all unique characters. So quickly create this method, call it input. So as we discussed, we are going to create a hash set which will keep track of all the unique characters for us. Let's call it care set, character. So while i is less than the input.length, 
if char set contains that character then return false because we have seen that character before that's why it is present in the char set else insert it in the char set and then increment i by 1 and default will return true because if it comes to this line we, we know that it didn't went inside this block of code therefore true so let's run and see we should get true awesome so now extend this test case to test it with more inputs so for that we can we usually have parameterized test case in jnet5 but it is not set up in my machine right now so i'll set up for the next video but here let's create a map call it test input here i'm going to put a b c d e and the expected output is true then let's put my name expected output is true again because uh, all the characters are unique then put my last name this is going to return false because all the characters are not unique a is repeating delete this iterate over this variable for each input expected output and then call this particular method here with this input and also assert this one with the expected output now this should return green for all the inputs awesome so our current method current functionality is working as expected but now let's tackle the second part of the question which is what if you cannot use additional data structure what if you cannot use this care set then how are you going to come to this conclusion that all the characters in your string is unique so for this you, usually in these kind of question this is a trick question and you need to get into the binary level or binary operations because that is where the answer lies so instead of explaining to you every step we'll directly code and then we'll see how it works so i'm going to create another test case so i'm simply going to copy this one and append optimized at the end and i'm going to keep everything same and i'm append optimized at the end just to make it a different function input alrighty so here so first of all we need a checker we'll assign it to zero then now we're going to iterate over the string character by character so when i is less than input dot length now we can get this value here so it is easier to use it without repeating that input dot caret everywhere here i need i plus or we can subtract a so a is the ascii value which is 96 so whatever character i have i'm going to subtract 96 from it uh, so if i encounter a uh, i will get zero if I encounter B, I'll get 1, C is 3, likewise. So this is what uh, the value going to hold. Now that I have the value, I need to check if checker and left shift this one by the number that is there in value. And if it is greater than 0, then return false. Else, we'll use or checker or the same thing one is left shift by the number and here in this condition we're going to return true i plus plus this in in the combination this is called xor operation cool so now let's try to run this one again and see if it works awesome so this is how you can solve this question using without using any additional space and this is a very important question interviewers may ask you this question i have been asked this question in the interview before and i i was able to solve it like this so see you in the next video where we are going to solve some more of such questions these questions are very important and builds the base so see you in the next video Bye bye